It's Friday night, and you know what that means. Time for another hour edition of wrestling on TNT that flies by like it's merely 60 minutes long, 45 minutes with commercials. I'm John Rentham with my review of AEW Rampage. JR, Excalibur, and Tony Schiavone on commentary. I like that they're putting JR on Rampage because I think it's better to just use him sporadically. I said this much on my Dynamite review. Check that out if you haven't already. And immediately in the ring is Eddie Kingston and Takeshita. And I'm always going to be a little bit unsure if I actually said that name correctly, so I'm 80% sure I got it at least mostly right. Nevertheless, this is a fresh matchup, I'll say that much. They hit a bunch of strikes, hit a bunch of chops, and then uh, this did go a bit long, but then again, given how one other match went a little bit too long when it had no business going that long, nevertheless, at least they took it seriously. And there was a Liger Bomb by Eddie Kingston for two. There was a nice uh, Brain Buster. Very, very sweet move by Takeshita. And then some strikes and slaps, some no-selling, a back fist, a jumping knee, and then another back fist. And Eddie falls on Takeshita. One, two, three, and Eddie Kingston gets the victory. Not the last time we hear from Eddie Kingston on this program. And then uh, we have a pre-tape with Athena and Chris Statlander winning a piece of Jade's TBS Championship. You thought I was going to say something else. Nevertheless, they want to give her real competition. And then we get a WWE biography ad. It's for season two. And if they have as much revisionist history here as they did in season one, oh boy. Oh boy. Can't wait to rip that shit apart. Anyway, nevertheless, we get a pre-tape on Hook. We do not hear from Hook. We just see a pre-tape on Hook. Okay, enough of that. So we go uh, back to the ring. It's the Gates of Agony. Khan with a U. And Toa Lanoa with Tully Blanchard. Part of Tolly Blanchard Enterprises, taking on Jonathan Gresham, the ROH champion, and Lee Moriarty. Lee wants a shot at Gresham, so they're going to team up. And then we get a bit of an angle a little bit later. An angle that, okay, even though I didn't read the spoilers, I probably should have seen coming, but nevertheless. Caprice Coleman joins commentary for this in the next match. That's good. I like Caprice Coleman. He has fresh uh, sports-based, you know, uh, presentation to commentary. He just, he former wrestler. He understands you know, wrestling, how to present it well, and it's really, really nice to have a fresh voice on commentary. The Heels Jumpstart, uh, it's great to see Khan again. Um, he was on some episodes of AEW Dark and Dark Elevation. I know he's been part of the ROH, you know, the few shows they've done. And it's nice they're doing something with him. He has a great look. Toa Lanoa's a big guy. Good. Good thing they're uh, using Tully Blanchard's, you know, name to bring the uh, value up of a couple talents. Because even though they've worked on the indies, for a national audience, hey, they could see, oh, Tully Blanchard, all right, this is a big deal, let's pay attention to these guys. Um, Gresham kept getting distracted by Tully Blanchard, and Lee Moriarty got beat up for a while, which probably should have telegraphed what was going to happen. Lee almost gets a tag, and Gresham says, ha no. And then Lee Moriarty gets beat up by Khan and Tola Noah, while Gresham hugs Tully Blanchard, and then Lee Moriarty gets hit... <clears throat> You know, he gets beat up, hit with a nice gut buster from Khan, and covered by Tola Noah. One, two, three. Good, good. It was an angle match, but you know what? It served his purpose. And then we get an Eddie Kingston promo where he talks about taking on Takeshita, you know, having a great match. And now he's turning his attention to Chris Jericho for what he did, well, what Ty did to Ruby and what Jericho has done. He didn't make him bleed. People... Um, see him as a liar. He is not going to be seen as a liar. He wants Jericho's blood. Every drop of blood that uh, Jericho, you know, that Jericho uh, loses is, uh, you know, for what he did to Ruby, for, you know, for his sins, or every sin he has committed. Eddie is a tremendous goddamn promo. And he wants him in the barbed wire. We find out a little bit later what that means. And then we get Mercedes Martinez and Serena Skrull taking on, I mean, Serena Deeb. I'm sorry. Maybe her and Marty aren't actually dating. But it's Serena and Mercedes, which sounds like a weird Disney XD channel um, <coughs> series thing. Taking on Kayla Sparks and Christina and Christina. I didn't actually catch, catch the last name. I'm very sorry. There wasn't much to this. Mercedes and Serena, can they get along before they get it on? Well, it's a Randy Luck on Christina. She got the victory, and then she attacks Mercedes to set up an ROH Women's Championship match at Death Before Dishonor in a couple weeks. I don't know if I'm going to order that or not. The card looks fine, but I don't know. It just depends on money and depends on time. So uh, we go back to Jonathan Gresham uh, being, uh, you know, just cutting a promo. He's tired of being overlooked. Could make a joke, not going to. And Gresham shakes Tolly Blanchard's hand because Tolly contacted him and he's happy to be part of Tolly Blanchard Enterprises. Okay, cool. And that's Gresham versus Moriarty on Rampage next week for the ROH Championship. 
It's a bit weird. I would have thought they would have maybe put that on the pay-per-view. Who knows? So Dynamite Fighter Fest Night 1 <coughs> is Claudio versus Hager. Good God, poor Claudio. Three-way tag title match. The Insufferbucks, uh, Swerve in Our Glory, Swerve in Keith Lee, and Starks and Hobbs. And I don't know who the fuck's taking the pin, but I'll tell you who's not taking the pin. It sure ain't the Bucks. I'd be very surprised if the Bucks already lost. Anna Jay versus Serena. Lucha Bros versus Private Party. The Gun Club speak. And Matt Seidel cuts a promo. Kind of. And Lee Moriarty talks. And then Fighter Fest Night 2. It's Jericho versus Eddie in a barbed wire death match with... The Jericho Appreciation Society, not just barred from ringside, but suspended in a shark cage. Ooh. I can already just smell the overbooking from here. Speaking of overbooking, Orange Cassidy uh, with best friends in Danhausen took on Tony Nese. And Orange Cassidy won after a match that really went way too goddamn long, and I don't care. I don't care. So yeah, that's all I gotta say right there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Recklin. I'll see you soon.